Okay, I'm with Omori Sola Baba GT, a new entrance to the Super Falcons. If you have watched our video, you know that this is a very quality addition to the Super Falcons. And we'll be talking, we'll be talking on Tottenham News. We'll do a lot of freestyle, pigeon, English, English, Yoruba, all joy. How are you doing, Omori Sola Baba? I'm good, thanks. I don't really speak Yoruba. I know. <laughs> I understand. But I'm, you understand. But when I say yeah. Baoni, we'll say Mowa. Baoni. Mowa. Mowa. Mowa, da, Okay. How, how do you feel making your debut, debut game for the Super Falcons? Um, it's a proud moment for me and my family. Um, it was a long time coming. So yeah, I'm very happy to be here. And I'm happy to make my debut. Also. How long have you been not seeing this ambition to play for the Super Falcons? Uh, I would say since 2018, 2019. But like, I had an agent also and he didn't really align with my ambitions and what I wanted to do. So he kind of kept me in that direction that I was staying on. Um, so yeah, there was not much control I could take um, over my career at that moment in time. But now that I'm a free agent, um, yeah, I'm making my own decisions for myself, for my family and for my career also. You, you, you played for the English on the 20 before, right? Yeah, 20. under 18, 19, 20, I think 23. Okay. And then I made, um, I had two training camps with the first team. With the first team of England? Yeah. So how compare and compare the two? <laughs> There's not really much comparisons. Like, over here is more cultural, and I feel like we embrace our culture a bit more here. Um, good vibes, happy vibes. Um, everybody's welcoming. There's not much pressure as well. Like, everyone's just nice here. But to be fair, in England as well, like, it's more... I don't know how to describe it. Everyone was nice also, don't get me wrong. They made me feel welcome, but yeah, it's just completely different. I don't know how to describe it much. <laughs> but yeah, I'm sure it's culturally, really... it would always be different. We've got the African-Nigerian culture here, and then we've got the European-English one, so yeah. So let's go back to the, Aus to the Women World Cup, Women's World Cup in Australia. And it was England that eliminated Nigeria. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure you watched that game. Yeah. How did you feel? How did I feel? Um, watching the game, obviously, it ended in a draw before the penalties. So yeah, it was it was good to watch it. Obviously, I wanted Nigeria to win because I knew where I wanted to go and where I wanted to be. You wanted Nigeria to win? Yeah. Like, I, <laughs> <laughs> like, it took a bit longer for me to change allegiances. But like, the plan was for it to be done before the World Cup for me to be um, eligible to be selected for the World Cup, but it took a little longer. So yeah, I was full on a Nigeria fan uh, for this World Cup that just went past. So, so your double the double game against Ethiopia, it ended one yeah. one and you came in second half. How do you make of your double game? I feel like I had good touches. Um, the, it was a difficult game to um, be in, like come on in. Um, so yeah, I just thought I just needed to stay calm as well as just try and feed everyone else um, on the field to try and get us the winner. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. But yeah, for me, it was my touches that I needed to um, look out for, especially on such a difficult pitch to uh, play on. I know those are the things you're going to expect in African football, playing on the very difficult pitches, difficult surfaces. You no, know? uh, when talk about uh, you for you for you for. Someone like you, born and bred in Europe, the playing surface is very good, grass, everything. But in Africa, the struggle, it's a big challenge. Yeah. We don't know what we're going to expect because definitely you may not see the kind of turf, the kind of uh, pitches, the kind of grass that you, you, you are familiar with. Yeah. I, I hope, hope this will not really affect your game negatively. Um, time will tell, but we all started from somewhere. so. Being younger, playing grassroots football, and all of that, I played on pitches like this before. So it's obviously humbling and character building, uh, training on fields like this, as well as playing. But at the end of the day, it's a game of football, and I have to adapt. So I'm going to adapt as best as I can to make sure it doesn't affect the performances that I have at training as well as games. Um, and this is why we train to try and get used to fields like this. So when you look at the Ethiopians on Tuesdays, the, the reverse leg, the second leg, are they really beat them in terms of whitewashing? Can they collect five goals? Can they collect six goals? Seven goals? Eight goals? Eight goals? Eight knee? Can we see six knee? 
I want to say five zero. <laughs> <laughs> Every team is beautiful. Um, it just depends on you bringing your A game on the day. So um, I definitely believe we're a better team, especially out in Ethiopia as well. We were very unlucky not to get a result because of the conditions and not to get the build up. Yeah, not to get a win because um, the build up to obviously the game we had we didn't have much time to prepare and stuff. But now we've got more time and we're actually at home as well in front of our home fans. So yeah, there's no reason why we can't get a result and win against Ethiopia. Do you speak Fiji? No. <laughs> have fun. And I enjoy doing it. I don't enjoy the national team. You need to blame my parents. Eh? Me and my siblings, we've always asked our parents. So you know you talk small pigeon? No. Even small, just small. How you do? <laughs> No, I, can't, I understand a lot oh, yeah, of it. How far me. means how are you? Uh, are you how are you doing? I say I did fine. I did fine. Eh? I say I did fine. I did fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we did fine. We wish you, you, we wish you all the best in the Super Falcons. Uh, Omar Estella, Baba GD. Thank new you. entrance of the Super Falcons. She had a debut game for the Super Falcons against yeah. Ethiopia. And we wish you all the best. Thank, Thank you. you very much. It's a left-sided. Uh, you, you you're more of a left-sided midfielder, right? Yeah, I'm a born left winger. I've left always winger. been there from my okay. Your left in a DIE. It's <laughs> that short, eh? that lefty. Hey, thank you very much. Eh? All the best. Thank, thank you for speaking to Torinis. Thank you. <laughs>